Hey guys, this is Crow Graphics, and today it looks like we're going to be in Adobe Photoshop CS6. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over some basic detail enhancement and also how to add depth of field to your images. So, I got this picture of this woman showing her eyes, obviously. And what I'm going to do first is I am going to duplicate the layer. So that way, in case if I had to start from the beginning, I got something to work with. And since we're in Adobe Photoshop CS6, it gives us something called Iris Blur. And now what this does is, it creates two little dots, just like an iris of an eye. And we can adjust those dots. So that way, wherever the, whatever is inside this area, it's not blurred. But whatever starts to go out of it, that's where the blur starts to really start to take into effect. So I'm just going to decrease this blur a little bit. Probably about to 8 pixels. That's looking good. And hit OK. Alrighty. So that's without it. And that is width. Without width. Got this nice contrast right here so that way the eyes are starting to pop out more than what they were as opposed to this right here everything looks fine detail but now that we blurred everything that now that we blurred everything out right around here then the details are really starting to come out in the eyes but for me that's not enough we really got to make these eyes pop out now so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to grab my little brush tool and make sure that this is at a reasonable size maybe 110 is fine and the areas that I want to enhance I'm just gonna go ahead and just paint over so um, that is fine and then I am going to control click on the layer thumbnail then I will go to my shape marquee tool and I will do a layer via copy. Whoops, might help if I have the layer that I want to do the enhancements on. So, layer via copy, get rid of that. Now what I can do from here is I will just simply go to layer, layer adjustment, and I'm going to go to something that's, sh nope, not there. What am I thinking? It's filter other and then high pass. And now we can adjust this accordingly to however much detail you want to bring out into it. I'll probably go 2.0. And right now it's looking a little bit weird. It actually looks like her eyes are kind of blotted out slightly. But what we're going to do with this layer is we're going to turn it from normal to overlay. And so now it may not be noticeable at first, but this is enhancing the detail in the eyes. So what I do after that is I will just duplicate it about two more times. And I'll get this into a group. So now you have the eyes without the high pass. Now you have it with the high pass. So now you're seeing a huge enhancement and the eye detail that's coming out. And then one last step that I always typically do when it comes to enhancing eyes and adding detail to the highlights of something is I will go down to my dodge tool and then I'll just shrink that down slightly and then we kinda got these like midtones and highlights I'll just enhance those. So I'll just go over it maybe once or twice. Then I'll enhance that. Alrighty, so let me drop that into the group. So this is with the post processing, and this is without. So without it, everything just looks kind of monotone. Without it, it, everything looks pretty much monotone. 
and everything is just kind of like blended in together with detail here got some detail right here got some more detail but with the post post processing then that really brings out what we want and that's the eyes all right so that wraps it up for depth and detail in adobe photoshop cs6 i have been core graphics and i will see you guys in the next video take care everyone